The project in the Pacific took three years of planning and was funded by the National Science Foundation. The researcher's home at sea was the 135-foot research vessel, the Point Sur, based at the Moss Landing Marine Laboratory near Monterey, California. Equipped with some of the most advanced bottom sampling equipment in the world, the Point Sur spent three weeks probing some of the deepest recesses off the western continental shelf and captured dozens of samples from sea bottoms never before explored by scientists. The primary goal of the expedition is to study populations of tiny but ecologically important marine crustaceans known as copepods. Professor Thistle is an expert in the biology of harpactichoids, a special group of copepods that live entirely on sea bottoms. Scientists know that harpactichoids play important roles in the food chain for such fish as salmon and grouper that grow up in fairly shallow seas. But, as Thistle explains, comparatively little is known about what roles these tiny animals play in deep sea environments. The deep sea is really understudy for harpactichoids. These samples we'll be taking and processing, therefore the data we'll be getting, uh, are probably the first uh, at this depth along the west coast, certainly the first organized transect. So little is known about these deep ocean microorganisms that scientists don't even know how many species exist or how nature distributes them across the vastness of the world's seafloors. This is one of the big mysteries this mission was designed to solve, at least for the deep waters off the west coast. That's really the essence of our, our study. What is the species list the same at San Diego and Seattle? When the hundreds of mud samples are analyzed during the coming year in Thistle's lab, he and his students expect to find many copepod species completely new to science. We expect to find uh, at least dozens, if not uh, hundreds, of new species in uh, our samples. To collect undisturbed samples from such tremendous depths, the FSU team relied on the latest in deep sea sediment collecting equipment, plus the skill of the ship's crew. To maximize shipboard time, both the crew and the science team worked in round-the-clock shifts, sending this one-ton multi-coring apparatus to the bottom. Once there, the device uses gravity to sink eight coring tubes into the bottom. Special spring doors then capture the mud for retrieval. But the research serves an even larger mission, Thistle says, and that is to help train the next generation of oceanographers. The six students on this trip include three from Texas A&M University, all preparing for careers in oceanography or marine biology. The mission provided them with rare, real-time experience they can't get anywhere else. The foundation understands very well that to train oceanographers, you can't just do that in a laboratory uh, sitting on land. People who study the ocean need to go to sea. 